hang up and try again. Hi, this is a, a, a quick unboxing for the uh, I, uh, Infuse um, wrist strap for the um, iPod Nano 6G. Uh, I wanted to get one of these uh, for quite a while because my old one, which is the the old 5G one, um, is a great iPod. It's fantastic, very very light. Uh, has a camera. I'm not too sure why it has a camera because, um, uh, well, I suppose for kids and stuff, you can take photos and whatnot and do videos and uh, have fun with it. But um, transferring it is a bit annoying. Um, but anyway, <coughs> it was pretty good um, for my sports for a while. Used the uh, Nike Plus uh, sensor plugged into the bottom of it. Um, but I found that having this on my shoulder and pressing the button and stuff, uh, kind of, it wasn't annoying, but it, it was, it, it, it kind of impeded the running because a lot of the times when you hit the, the power song, you press the button, but you'd have to hold it down for a few seconds and you're doing that while you're running. So you have this on your, your arm. Um, just found it kind of annoying that it was, that you had to sort of turn and hold the button down whilst you're running. You know, it's a bit, it's not great, but uh, it still worked. So I wanted to buy this solely for the purpose of having this on my wrist. And I thought it would be absolutely fantastic to be able to refer to my wrist, press the power song, set the whole thing up, and it works quite well. Um, but for a long time, um, this, this has been out for quite a while, so for a long time there wasn't any wrist straps. Um, there was some. People made their own and sold them on, on, um, on uh, Amazon or eBay. Um, a lot of them were just either Velcro straps and it would fit through the, the clip, but um, I found through through a few uh, sites that it would jiggle about as if you're, you're running or if you're just walking or whatever, so it wasn't great. So I did a good old look, found this excellent company uh, that came up with an idea that it fits it to the, the strap and it, and it locks it in place so it doesn't move around, so it's pretty good. Anyway, I'm just going to unbox it. Okay, so it's all unboxed, uh, pretty pretty basic design box. Uh, it was kind of battered in transit. Um, it also took quite a while to get here, but um, but anyway, that's uh, normal logistic issues. Anyway, the, the, the actual strap is pretty good. It's uh, kind of a thick silicone um, um, watch strap, um, so it's quite bendy. You can get them in several different colors. Um, the actual company is linked on my website, so have a quick look on that. Um, and what's the benefit is obviously the rich what uh, the watch strap is is quite basic so that's not a big problem um, you've got the normal silicone stuff here and plenty of plenty of holes for people of different uh, wrist size but the, uh, the 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 real neat thing is is this is the actual connector it's kind of a plastic um, a durable plastic um, and basically what it is is it uh, allows you to fit the, the iPod in, so I'm just going to do that now. Um, and you just slides in, and it slides in through the, uh, the actual clip. Um, as you can see on the back there, slides in through the clip. And then um, to finish off, you put this little doohickey through the middle. Oh, wrong way around, sorry. What it does is it locks it in place. So, literally, it's it won't move. the The jiggling is basically the the actual straps moving side to side, but the actual uh, iPod itself is is fully secure. So it's fantastic, Fan an excellent idea. So it's great for sports. I suppose the only design flaw for the uh, for the Apple is that I, I really wanted this to have its uh, night plus sensor built in like the iPhone 4 um, but uh, and uh, the iPhone 3GS but it's not but never mind uh, this plugs in quite normally um, and obviously if you've designed um, the way they've designed the strap is that uh, uh, the the actual bit is at the back but you can obviously change all that if you want to put it at the front because uh, the actual uh, design of the iPod is that you can obviously spin it round and see if I can do that. Yep, and you can. And uh, the actual preferences for the watch is the, the fact that you can actually have the clock to start up as soon as the uh, as soon as the fader comes on. Uh, uh, it will 
pop back into straight into watch, which is kind of good. Um, but yeah, so I like I like it. It's a very good very good uh, watch design. I've seen a few others um, advertised that you can that have been sold in in um, the Apple stores, and uh, they seem a bit inferior. Um, the fact that they don't lock in place. A few people have said that uh, the, the cup design where it actually fits the iPod into it is quite jagged on the sides so people are you know, just scraping themselves, not cutting themselves, but it's kind of a, a, a poor design I think. But this works out really well. So I wholeheartedly recommend it for anybody that wants to buy one of these for either sports, if they're using the Night Plus thing, or you just want to uh, put it on your wrist, use it as a watch, but also um, listen to music as you're walking down the street or something. It's great. Absolutely fantastic design. So that's my unboxing. Uh, check my website out for, for anything new. And uh, thanks very much for watching this video. Okay, thanks, Ray. Bye.